What's up, everybody? I'm John Short, and this is my last lecture. To start off with, I chose Chapter 4, The Parent Lottery. We all have special people in our lives who make us better human beings. I chose my mom, my dad, and my sister because I grew up with them, and they raised me and taught me to be a better person. Starting this chapter off with my mom, which is my role model, and I'm so appreciative of everything that she does for me because anytime that I'm feeling down, she always asks me what's wrong and cheers me up. My mom has taught me a lot of stuff, such as treating people with respect, being humble, and also being kind. My mom has taught me how to cook, clean, garden, and anything that you could possibly imagine. My mom is a superhero. She's a superhuman. No matter what she is going through, she'll always put her kids first and treat us with love and respect and make sure that we are happy. That's why my mom is a very special person in my life. Next up, talking about my dad. My dad plays such a key role in my life. Ever since I was a little boy wanting to play baseball, he has stuck by my side at all times. He is the reason I am the man I am today, and that's a fact. I can't stress enough how much he does for me and my family. He is so strong and caring. It's truly a blessing. My dad is such a special person in my life and always will be. No matter what happens, he is always there for me, and I love him for that so much. He always checks up on me and pays for my food whenever I need money. He is a hero and will always be my role model. Last but not least, my little sister Ava. She is so caring and loving, and I can't stress that enough. My sister will always come in my room and want to play video games with me or always want to help me on my homework, even though she has no clue what she's doing. My sister will always come and cheer me up whenever I'm feeling down, and I love her for that so much. My sister will always be a hardworking girl like she is right now. She does so well in school, and I'm always going to be here to help her for it. My sister really is also a role model for me, even though she's five years younger than me, and I hope she knows that. My sister is so strong and caring, and I wish that she knew what she consists of so she could look in the mirror and tell her that she's the best person that's ever existed. My second chapter, I'll do chapter 53, titled Never Give Up. Sometimes in life, we do not accomplish our goals on the initial try. This chapter fits my life quite perfectly. When I was a little kid, all I wanted to do was play baseball and dream about being in the big leagues. Then, when I got older, I noticed the game got harder and there was a lot more stress. Sometimes, you feel that you just want to quit the game and live and try to be like a normal kid that gets to have summer off and hang out with their friends and not be a kid that has to fly all over the place and play baseball tournaments. Dating back about a year ago, I'd have to say that I got to such a low point in my life about baseball that I really truly didn't want to play the game anymore. I sat down with my parents on the couch and talked about what I really want to do when I grow up and if I want to keep on proceeding with this game. Not accomplishing your goals on the first try might be a bummer, but you have to take a deep breath and realize that not everything happens on the first try. Like I said, when I wanted to quit, I sat down with my parents and talked it out and I came back and actually kept on working and started proceeding my game and being a whole lot better. For an example, when I was about 11 years old, I tried out for the 11U National USA team. I made it to the second round, and after that, I was cut and did not get the invite back to the camp. And to make it even worse, four of my teammates on my team got invited back to the camp. If you want to think about it this way, that compares to you not getting invited to your best friend's birthday, but all your other friends are. That would suck, huh? Yes, I was brought down a little bit, but I took a deep breath, like I said, and I kept on working and getting back to the grind. Then, after all my practice and got a whole lot better, I went to go try out for the 15U national team in Phoenix, Arizona. I passed round one, round two, and for round three, guess what? I got chose to be a third baseman, starting pitcher, and right fielder for the USA national team. Some advice I'd like to get to all of you out there is no matter how hard it gets, all you have to do is tell yourself that it's in the past and you can only change your future and not the past. What has happened has already happened and there is no way that you can go back in time to change that. All you need to do is take a deep breath and tell yourself that you got this. Never forget that there will always be people proud of you even when it doesn't feel like it. And if there still is nobody that tells you that you're proud, always know that I'm proud of you. Keep on going and I love you guys. That is my last lecture.